Welcome to all. Today we will talk about Ramayana. So I have many versions of Ramayana. Uh, most of them are published by Amar Chitra Katha, and Amar Chitra Katha is a is a well known publisher in our country. It is the oldest publisher, I think, uh, from 1960s, which is publishing comic books or rather I say illustrations based on our history. So this is the book which is called. Tulsi Das Ramayana and I have two versions of this one is in paperback and small size you can see and the another one is same book in the big size hardbound edition so these type of books are being published by Amar Chitra Katha and apart from Tulsi Das uh, Ramayana we have uh, this Val Valmiki Ramayana also and I think this is the uh, oldest uh, if you compare this is a special issue uh, having 96 pages or you can say roughly 100 pages uh, drawn by pra uh, Pratap Mulik, the brilliant artist which is uh, fame which is very famous for making these spectacular title covers not only for uh, Amar Chitra Katha but also for Indian publications for example Raj Comics and other com comic pub book publications so this is the Valmiki Ramayana uh, concised in 95 or 96 pages so it touches all the aspects of Ramayana but the uh, problem is that uh, the, the story of uh, Rama or the Ramayana is, ha, is this story have so much of detailing that it is impossible to un, un, uh, incorporate all the important things in this uh, small story although it is not small when we talk about uh, Amar Chitra Katha general comic book of Amar Chitra Katha have this size and uh, 32 pages so it is three times thicker or three times uh, larger than that book this is that is why it is called a special issue but still it is not enough so when we compare these two books Tulsi Das Ramayana and uh, Valmiki Ramayana so these are from two uh, different authors and many of us know what is the difference uh, between Valmiki Ramayana and Tulsi Das Ramayana I have announced a giveaway also uh, previously uh, when I asked about the difference between these two so Valmiki Ramayana is the ancient Ramayana uh, as it is formed and Tulsi Das Ramayana is for uh, general public so we can understand the story easily so here Tulsi Das Ramayana is a kind of issue which have 160 pages uh, having 5 in one uh, collection it, although it is not a, a collection because uh, it, it published in such in this way only we, we cannot find these books separately so yes it is bigger if you compare with this so these were the two issues but in uh, 2017 Amar Chitrakatha published this box set which was inspired by the box set of uh, Mahabharata see this is the box set of Mahabharata very famous and best collector edition uh, till now which I have collected so Mahabharata is uh, actually both of uh, them are uh, big epics of our country so Mahabharata have three volumes hardbound edition very very good condition so i i unboxed this uh, mahabharata and made reviews you can search on my channel if you are interested so let's talk about ramayana today so it is completely inspired by this it have three volumes it have six volumes but yes these volumes are thicker you can compare when you talk about uh, price so price of both books is the same this box set to, oh sorry sorry this have 2499 2500 and this is 2199 it means 2200 but it is hindi edition if you go for english edition of mahabharata it will cost 3000 rupees for mrp and yes you get discounts uh, on different uh, websites for both of these books so when it comes to ramayana i have uh, unboxed this it this box set twice i have purchased this twice and uh, I have given a detailed video also but uh, today I want to talk only about this card so let me first introduce four uh, six parts of this book Bala Kanda ba so I'm sorry Balkan first book Ayudhya Khan volume number two or the second book of this box set Aranya Khan third book of the bo box set Kishkinda Khan, fifth book 
Sundar Kant and the last Yuddha Kant, which is which also includes Uttar Kant. In this. So it have six hardbound, thick hardbound volumes which have use of sport UV on the title. Okay, to my disappointment, uh, this book uh, was originally published in glossy papers, but I don't know why they reprinted this in Maplito papers. Actually, it was originally because when I saw the illustrations, when I saw the, these brilliant colors, I thought that I wish I could have the, all these in glossy pages. Then I, when I researched, uh, then I came to know that okay, this book was originally published in uh, glossy papers, but I don't know why Amartya have done this. Uh, now this box set is available in Maplito papers. So it is a reprint of year 2021, and this book was originally published in year 2017. So when it comes to reprints. Amar Chitrakata failed to impress me, truly, because uh, actually before uh, reading this Balkan uh, yesterday, I was pl I was planning to review this uh, this hardbound edition of Bhagwat, which have uh, three uh, volumes in this. It includes three paperback edition of Bhagwat, uh, the story of Lord Krishna. But the problem was uh, that it is not impressive. See, you can see the printing quality. Printing quality. And the paper quality is not up to the mark according to this book and the price of the book. See, they uh, when I see the reprints of Amarjitra Katha, I I am not able to see any efforts in the printing quality. See, if we compare uh, Amarjitra Katha with uh, Hindi book publishers, for example, uh, Raj Comics, so they, there must be no comparison. But yes, because I I do uh, review videos frequently of Raj Comics, so I am quite impressed with the printing quality of Raj Comics. See every time they reprint, even I had I had the original issue of this comic book also, and I I can surely guarantee you that it is no lesser than the original issue, even better than the original issue. So they reprint many times the Raj comics, and uh, every time they use uh, they do some experiments. Sometimes they use Maplito papers, sometimes they use glossy papers. Even in uh, latest reprints, they always try to make the product better with the glossy uh, uh, pages and with brilliant inks. So always, even if you compare with the original prints, most of the time, uh, as per my experience, I f I uh, I, fe I felt better when I see the see the reprints. So there is no problem in the reprints. But in Amar Chitra Katha, the printing quality is very poor. Sometimes they do disaster with the printing. So when I purchased this Mahabharata and Ramayana, then then only I uh, purchased many of uh, these hardbound issues. I was expecting the same quality, but yes, to my disappointment, it is not the same quality. Not not up to the mark because. What kind of work the, uh, the artist have done? The, 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 I think the Kadam Studio have done the work. So let's uh, shift our attention again to the Ramayana. So this is how. So uh, I dropped this uh, idea because of the poor quality of reprint, and then uh, it was the mere repetition of Ramayana Sagar's Krishna. So I have seen this that serial in my childhood, exactly the same because I have well, that serial was my favorite. So in my childhood, I remember all the things, and even now I remember all the events which I have seen in Doordarshan. At that time, so that is why I dropped this book. But when it comes to this uh, Valmiki's Ramayana, see this Valmiki's Ramayana, which was a single shot issue drawn by Pratap Mulik, the legendary artist, in uh, 96 pages. After that, this huge box set totally justifies the Valmiki Ramayana. Apart from this quality, because it it had it have brilliant quality. Because I think because it is a recent uh, release. So yes, the color quality and the printing quality is is great, and the art is great. I don't know why they didn't use glossy papers because every publication, even the cheaper one, every publication is using glossy pages. Only the Amar Chitra Katha have this uh, pattern of printing glossy comics on non glossy papers. So let's start with the Balkan. So the art is brilliant. Story is brilliant. The treatment of story is brilliant, and the research is brilliant. So this book is quite detailed. If you are interested in quite detailed book, because these shallow books uh, never grab my attention. Because I I am I am lo a lover of great detailing in art and in story also. So yes, this will satisfy your needs. So Valmiki Ramayana is truly collectible. I wish they could have released this in glossy papers. So I will talk about only this Balkan today. So again uh, the Cover quality is good. Use of sport UV is here. The Balakanda and only in the title. But in when we talk about Mahabharata, 
we can see many uh, the sport use of sport uv in the characters also on, on the cover so this is starts like this this beautiful is illustration here in the front inside of the front and inside of the back also and then the story starts so it have some parts although this comes uh, like uh, hardbound uh, six volumes but yes it it have many parts inside also so this goes like this it have uh, four parts the beginning young prince rama traveling with vishwamitra and the great bow of shiva so first to uh, the beginning i think this is the cover art of the beginning so this is good because previously about hardbound editions have that this will be the cover the first book and, and then we will see uh, the covers of the rest of the books but here this cover is exclusively for this these four sub parts and this, then we have a separate cover for the first part which is called the beginning let's see and the art is really brilliant when we when i see the reprints and when i see the art also this is quite detailed and really very brilliant art it it it, it is a big uh, very good combination of art plus uh, well researched story plus the colors and as we know that the first edition was in glossy papers so that was actually brilliant so it starts with rishi narada and uh, the storytelling of ramayana by love and kush the sons of rama see this is the quality of the artwork so story begins like this we have love kush in this uh, the legacy in, in this see in page number 10 there are so many pages in this book which uh, Uh, actually enriches our knowledge so they are actually uh, breaking the continuity of the book uh, say in this type of borders it, it is an extra information with these great visuals you can see the oral tradition so previously in an, our ancient india our history was not written in, on the papers or on the books it was uh, uh, given to the students and then their followers then their followers by orally and they because the brilliant ones were chosen for those in this task so they remembered word to word so this is how this story goes see this this art the detail of this art the com complete vis the visual of complete uh, city and you see <coughs> art is very brilliant even in, in in the first part the art is really brilliant you can see the anatomy and the different aspects architecture see so the history goes like this and here is uh, king dashratha the father of the rama and uh, he performed some uh, sacrifice the yashomed yagya and uh, then he was blessed with some boon for having children and here are some uh, another information supernatural beings in hindu mythology see so it is a description of what what do you mean by gods gandharvas apsaras asuras rakshasas you know beautiful drawn so the art is very brilliant and you see gods of the hindu it is this art is so beautiful i wish i could have some posters or some novelties of this art but yes i i don't think that amar chitrakala provide some uh, some kind of novelty apart from some one one poster with some bo some box sets of devi so the second part is uh, a young prince rama so we all know the story she is the uh, uh, demon tarka and this is the young rama you can see the brilliance of the art and the quality of printing is very good So yes, uh, King Dashrat have some uh, pious or some uh, boon and some some thing to eat uh, to be eaten by the queens if they uh, want to have child. So he gave the, the, there were three queens, uh, Kosalya, Kaikeyi and Sumitra. So he gave first uh, half to uh, Kosalya and she gave birth to uh, the our Lord Rama. Then uh, then to Kaikeyi and then Sumitra have had half and half, one one quarter and one quarter. So she gave birth to two uh, twins. Uh, lakshmana satruvan and kekai gave birth to bharata so these are some extra information how uh, brahma uh, uh, created uh, jamvanti so this story goes in this way and the, in between uh, the journey of uh, shri rama we uh, also see uh, 
other stories of other uh, mythological stories uh, stories in this uh, journey again rama's infinite form it is it it will remind you like uh, that krishna avatar when he showed the so complete universe in the mouth of lord uh, bal krishna so this story goes and here vishwamitra is here it is rishi vishwamitra okay so rishi vishwamitra is here and he is demanding for uh, ram for protecting his uh, yagya but uh, dashratha was frightened by the thought of these demons because ram was too uh, little at that time he was 16 or 15 years old then uh, again uh, their rishi in the palace they convinced dashratha and then he was convinced to send ram with vishwamitra epic scene this this is epic scene and this, during this journey uh, ram and lakshman to both not only protected the yagya but also they learned many lessons and many uh, stories and even uh, their history they they came to know about many aspects of their their history and in this journey we also came to witness all those things so it have it also a bookmark which is very essential for this huge books so the story goes like this you can see the visuals next part is traveling with Vish- vishwamitra so this traveling will have some puranic stories very with eye catchy visuals then the marriage of rama and sita will happen by breaking the bow of shiva so this goes like this we all know the story but the treatment is really very good and very detailed and descriptive and the art is very good the last part is and this is the good thing that it have it have page numbers no matter it have four parts or five parts but it have page numbers so you can uh, know how many pages you have read where is the fifth one the bow of shiva okay it is a bow of shiva you can see the pose by shri ram so yes this is the best art i have seen in amar chitra katha books and some uh, some people think that okay this is digital art and previously uh, the comic books uh, was hand drawn but let me tell you all the comic books no matter it is recent or ancient all comics book are made from hand uh, they are hand drawn actually the color is only digitalized and not not the complete digitized okay if if special effects are added digitalized but yet this all sketches are being made always by artists so no art is digital so last part is the great boss you and you can see the quality of art so art is very good story goes like this and we can see the parshram also so till this book the marriage of ram and sita hap- happens and in last it 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 will give you feel like this the one chapter is ended so they are living happily ever after and then you have glossary also so it is actually very uh, interesting book knowledgeable book and deep book it mean it, it means it is not for uh, school children it is for we adults so i like this book very much and i have read uh, all the uh, parts previously also but not in this that much detail but i read it in, in uh, completely so it was uh, very impressing this part and apart from this i have many versions of ramayana also in other publication but the problem is that they initiate great for example this prince of ayodhya from campfire graphic novels so it was a series is supposed to be series and you can see the brilliance of art here also but it is a modern uh, modern uh, way or to tell a story but the, the big the good thing about campfire uh, graphic novels is that okay uh, you can have those graphic novels in great discount but they never compromise with the quality see you you will see always this quality in campfire graphic novels so yes it was a great start but i don't know the sequel of this prince of ayodhya because it it is uh, this prince of ayodhya is essentially telling the same story balkan so prince of ayodhya is even before the balkan in balkan and the ending of balkan we 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 can see the marriage of ram and sita but here ram is still traveling with vishwamitra so this is the prince of ayodhya which have actually uh, 180 pages by campfire graphic novels but i don't know its sequel is in pipeline or not apart from that so there we have some single shot issues by campfire graphic novels which have 
इंस्पायर्ड और एक्चुअली देवर पार्ट ऑफ रामायण द सीता डॉटर ऑफ द अर्थ एंड द रावणा रोर ऑफ द रिमन किंग सो यस वी हैव मेनी वर्जन ऑफ रामायण इन मेनी पब्लिकेशन बट बींग द मोस्ट फेमस एंड द ओलेस्ट वन द अमर चित्र कथा बट यस द रिप्रिंट क्वालिटी इज नॉट वेरी वेरी गुड इवन इट इज़ ए रिप्रिंट आई हैड दिस द ट्वेल्व रुपीज वर्जन ऑफ दिस बुक ऑल्सो बट एट दैट टाइम इवन टू टू और थ्री ईयर्स बैक बट एट दैट टाइम आई डेंट नो न्यू द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट रिप्रिंट सो आई लॉस्ट इट सो दिस इज दिस वॉज माई रिव्यू ऑफ बाल काउंट आई होप यू लाइक द वीडियो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट द रिव्यू ऑफ अदर पार्ट्स ऑल्सो आई विल यू कैन सजेस्ट मी इन द कमेंट्स सो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो